Hello, it's Thursday the 4th. I'm FX Plu and it's my mate's birthday today, so happy birthday, Stuman, you old git. Meanwhile, KPMG has been on. In a note to investors, they warned that without near-term rate cuts, it would compound the ongoing weakness of the UK economy. This could cut any hopes of a recovery before the general election. They think we need four rate cuts by year end, starting in June, if the government is to retain even a slim chance in the election. Sounds like they're lining up Bailey's MPC as a scapegoat for the Tory defeat. Where inflation fell to 3.4% last month, the, the wider city view is that we'll have three rate cuts by year end, starting in June. So it's not like KPMG have been smoking crack, but it is a little rich to line up monetary policy uh, as a blame for an election defeat. Given the Tories' historical performance, there's just a smidgen of recency bias with that, don't you think? Over in the US, it's all about employment data this week. Um, job vacancies remain pretty buoyant, more than covering uh, the rise in the job losses. And the ADP private sector report confirmed 184,000 new jobs were created. That was far more than expected, and last month's number was also revised higher too. Of course, as a reminder, there is very little correlation between the ADP number and non-farm payrolls, which is due out tomorrow. Uh, the forecast there is for 200,000 new jobs, but we'll pick that up for the sweepstake tomorrow. Um, the market saw the fall in US uh, service sector output as a bigger driver than the employment data, where lower output could force the Fed, Fed to cut rates sooner uh, than originally planned. The dollar index sold off to around 104.20. And that was pretty good news for sterling. We rallied to 126.55, recovering all the lost ground from Monday's bank holiday session. We kick off this morning from around 126.55 against the dollar, 116.70 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108.45 on the open. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.